Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on uh, a couple of tables. It says that a school organized a scholarship examination for four different classes, 7, 8th, 9, 10th. The school reserved 10 classrooms for conducting the examination on that given date. The number of students in each of the 10 classrooms was one out of these five numbers, 35, 45, 55, 65, and 75. No two classrooms that had seated the students writing the exam for the same class had the same number of students. Okay, so let us say that there are two classrooms uh, allotted to class 8. So these two will have different numbers. Okay, so 9th, these two will have different numbers. The below table provides details of the scholarship examination. Uh, out of these, so there are 10 classrooms that had to be allotted. For 7th class, there was 1 classroom allotted, for 8th, 2, 9th, 2, 10th, 5 classrooms allotted. And we are also given that number of classrooms that have the number of students. So there are 10 classrooms that have at least 35 students, 4 classrooms that have at most 45 students, 5 classrooms that have at least 65 students, 8 classrooms that have at most 65 students. Now how to solve this set? It's a simple set. So we have five categories of classrooms, right? Either they have 35, 45, 55, 65, or 75 students. Now, if you look at this table, it says that all 10 classrooms will have at least 35 students because that is minimum. So this is not at all required for us. Four classrooms have at most 45 students. At most 45 means either 35 or 45. So there are four classrooms that have this much number of students. Now, what does that mean that there are total test 10 classrooms we are given to us. Okay. So this means these three, there are six classrooms that have these kind of attendance. Now let's read further. There are five classrooms that have at least 65 students. That means these two categories have five students. So this means 55, we will have one classroom. Okay. Then last information is eight classrooms that have at most 65. That means maximum 65. So we have eight such classrooms covering these kind of students. So we have eight here. Okay. So we have total 10 classrooms. So that means there will be two classrooms that have 75 students. Right. And then we, we get that. We know that these are six. So there will be three classrooms that have 65 students. Now, if you look at this table, uh, this data, we are not given any more data. So we cannot find the number of classrooms that have this. Like it could be 1 and 3, it could be 2, 2, or it could be 3, 1. So that will be the number we are not aware of. All right. So now let us answer the questions. Some of the questions are very easy from it. Like what is the number of students of class 10 that appeared in the test? Now we are given that no two classrooms that had seated the students writing the examination for the same class had the same number of students. Now we are given that there are five classrooms allotted to class 10th. So all these five should be different numbers. And we have five different numbers here. So just add these, we will get 110, 110, 220, 275. That was the easiest of the questions that you have to find Add these five values. Now the next question says, what could be the maximum number of students that appeared in the test? Now, how to maximize this number is, we know these are fixed numbers, 1, 3, 2. Now, if you have to maximize the number of students, so we will assume that there is only one classroom where there are 35 students and there are three classrooms where there are 45 students. So let's just calculate these values. So we have 35, 45 into 3 is 135. Then 55 into 1 is 55, 65 into 3 is 195, and 75 into 2 is 150. Just add these values. This adds to 250. 250 plus 150 is 400. 400 plus 170. 570 is what we will get as the value. So there are maximum could be the maximum number could be 570. Suppose they had asked for the minimum. So in that case, we will consider this scenario. Okay, so in this scenario, it will be 105 and 150. This was 170, 20 less. Kar doge. So minimum will 550. 
okay so if we take this case we'll get 550 all right now let us see the next question how many classrooms had exactly 55 students in them so that we can uniquely determine that there is only one classroom that has exactly 55 students in it which of the following cannot be the number of students of class 8th that appeared in the test now see this these are all class 10th right one 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 each now class 8th is where where is it possible it is not possible in 55 because 55 is there is only one classroom that will be allotted to class 10th however we are not sure of these so we may have these two uh, as well right we may have this case we may have this case we may have this case and which of the following cannot be the number right so we have to find that which will definitely not be the answer so let us say 100 how can we make 100 out of these numbers we can have 65 plus 35 quite much possible there is a possibility that there are 65 students and this is uh, we will not consider this case it might be a case that 8th class student plus 10th class student so 8th class here and here so 65 plus 35 it is possible we have to find that which is not at all possible okay now it is it does not mean that it is certain number but it is a possibility similarly we can have 65 plus 45 or 75 plus 35 anything is possible 65 plus 45 bhi ho sakta hai. Yes, 75 35 bhi ho sakta hai. it is also possible 120 120 see this 65 55 is not possible but we can have 75 plus 45 let us say this is one is class 10th another is class 8th and here we have three classes so one of them could be class 8th out of them so another possibility is this so if you have considered three options that means fourth option should obviously be the answer let us verify also see we can make 130 only by 75 and 55 now and we discussed that we cannot have 55 as any other classroom because that has to be allotted to only class 10th so this is not possible so the answer is 130 which is not possible if the total number of students appearing in the test was the minimum possible number and the number of students from class 9th was the maximum possible number how many students from class 8th appeared in the test okay so what we will consider in this case is 35 45 55 65 and 75 right so we know that there are two classrooms three classrooms one classroom so we have to find that minimum possible number for total number of students so minimum possible will come that when we have just one class with 45 students and we will have three classes with 35 students okay and the number of students from class 9th was maximum possible okay so how will we figure it out that which all classes will be there now one class is 10th for each of these okay class 10th everywhere it is possible now we have to maximize class 9th okay maximum possible okay now if we have class 9th so one of them will be this this has to be class 9 and one of them has to be this one now these two are not possible for class 9 okay now how many students from class 8th appeared now these these three values are remaining 1 2 and 3 isn't it so this is class 10th and this is class 9th because class 9th has the maximum number 10 and 9th are already available these are 10 and 10 this is done so we have three values remaining we cannot have both class 8th here so one class 8th will come here one class 8th will come here this would be class 7th so class 8th how many 35 and 65 so we get the number as 100 so in this set a few questions were very simple a few questions were moderate so i hope you loved solving this set and please don't forget to like this video